Chester was just released, and today we're going to find out how strong he is. Should you pick him over other legendaries? And if you already have him unlocked, is he worth upgrading? First things first, we've got to unlock him. And uh, that was the most painless it's ever been for me to unlock a legendary brawler. I'm also going to get this Dark Chester skin. <laughs> Make sure you use Skullcarrow and Brawl Star Shop before you buy anything, guys. I'd much appreciate it. And now that we've got him unlocked, let's go ahead and max him out so we can see how strong he is in comparison to other maxed out brawlers. So we got his gadget, we got his star power, and we've got all five of his gears. The reason why I'm maxing him out is I'm jumping into Power League and I would be at a disadvantage if I didn't. Plus, I wouldn't be able to compare him to other brawlers, which I'm playing in Power League at max level. Okay, first up, Bounty, Shooting Star. Not his best game mode, but we'll see how he does. Boom, first brawler right there, right off the bat. <laughs> We're jumping right into here. That's gotta be intimidating to them, right? <laughs> it's, it's gotta be. Okay, here we go. Jumping to the, literally, this is my first match I've played against real players, like, the entire time. Yes, I know, I'm a dirty gemmer. You guys can get mad at me later. Let's see here. He does not have the range to deal with this, but he does. It's really easy to aim his shots. I don't know why this Brock doesn't just... Dude, yes! <laughs> he jumped in at me. That was so great. I was you say that's what you do. You you wait until you have three and four ammo and then you just destroy everybody. Or you know, three or four bells or whatever it is. Oh, oh, I'm healing myself up. Dude, that's so much healing. That is insane. Healing up. Dude, that healing is insane. Okay. He's really easy to hit his shots with if you're close to him because his shots have such a wide spread. <laughs> they like having a dirty gemmer on their team. <laughs> they do. Oh, yes. We got Brock there. Very nice. We didn't overextend ourselves too much. Come on, Mortis. You know you want to. Oh, I'll, I'll come a little bit close to you, too. Dude. He, the thing, Mortis cannot come close to me because if he does, he just gets wrecked. Oh, Mortis, you don't know what my super is. Oh, I really want Mortis to come, like, right next to me. Oh, oh, I was going to heal up. Okay, the heal is a little bit slow. They have the blue star. We have to get a kill here. Oh, dang it. I, I shouldn't be so playing so risky. Okay, we, we've got the kill. There we go. Okay, we're we're solid. He's really good. <laughs> he, he feels pretty good at first, at least. <laughs> I have no idea what's happening. Oh, this is brutal. Ah, it's a buster. <laughs> you know what? My bot is going to be better than I am. The bot will fight it out for me. <laughs> I, I don't know what to do in this situation. What is the right call? We're stuck at 2 minutes and 41 seconds. Oh, 2 minutes and 40 seconds. Everything is happening super slowly. The match is just over. I, I, no, I'm in the match. What the heck? This is so weird. Oh, nice. There we go. Who got the first team? They got the first win. Okay, well, that's fine. We can come back from that easily. Okay, got a quick kill. Come on, get him. Very, oh, dude, yes, love that stew. Oh, let's stay in here. No, you gotta stay in there. Go, oh, stay in there. What are you doing? I mean, I died, but still, like. <laughs> <laughs> I just got a notification. You left a Power League match before it ended. Doing so repeatedly will result in temporary suspension from pay playing Power League. It wasn't my fault, Supercell. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he just picked Chester. <laughs> okay, next we got Gem Grab and uh, Double Swoosh. I actually really like Chester for this map. I think that he's going to be pretty good. I'm going to start off by throwing a couple of attacks, so hopefully I will be reloaded by the time that I am actually ready to fight them. Okay, and I've got the uh, the vision gear to really help out a bunch. Ah, oh, there was ah, oh, there's like nothing I could do in that situation. Okay, nothing that the Max can actually do in that situation. Okay, so we got the first win. Okay, oh, dealing lots of damage here. Okay, very good. Very good. Stunned him, got the kill. Okay, very well. I guess the other guy got the kill, but it's fine. Oh, oh my Daryl friend. Oh boy. That was scary. Okay, we're running away. No, we're not. We're staying right here. Using the super, flexing it to them. Okay, another solid win. Ooh, bridge too far. This is going to be interesting. Ah, now they want to swap with me. They want to play Chester. <laughs> Sorry, Bella, I'm making a video. <laughs> okay, killed the ape bit as well. We're doing damage. We've got, let's see here. We're not actually doing as great as I would like to be doing. Did my super just change? Did it change when I died? Dude, this is so unfortunate because I've won my lane every single time and we still lost. Okay, well, hopefully my teammates, I mean, the bell should absolutely be going off against the uh, the eight bit. Like that's what should happen every single time. And I've shown that I can beat this Rico. 
There we go. Okay, I beat the Rico, but both my teammates lost. I don't think I died a single time. Clearly my teammates need help, so I'm gonna go help them. Okay, we did quite a bit of damage, not quite as much as I would like to. I mean, I would have liked to have won it right there. <sighs> like, that was clearly not me though. Like, I was able to win my lane every single time. Like, every time. Like, the only time I died was after I beat my lane. <laughs> to be fair though, I actually like Rico and 8-Bit more than Chester on that map. So like, I don't know. Oh no, they banned Chester! Ah, now my teammate banned Chester, dang it. Ah, dang it, somebody else picked Chester. Are you kidding me? No, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? He's a legendary brawler. Why does everybody have him? At this point, I've won two matches and lost two matches, and I've been star player once. I still feel like I need to play more matches before I would, like, actually have a good feeling for how to rank Chester. I feel like I'm just getting used to his mechanics, and I know that I can play him better than I currently am. One thing that seems to help is to fire two ammo right at the beginning of the match so that he'll have his three-shot and four-shot attack ready by the time everyone reaches the middle of the map. If you're quick enough with it, he'll actually be fully reloaded, so it should only benefit you to do this. I'm not convinced this is the right move when you're just respawning though, because you only respawn with just one ammo, and having ammo is more important than having a three shot loaded, at least in my opinion. Another thing I've noticed with Jester is that like, he feels consistently inconsistent. No! Huh. Huh. Kick it out of there! Oh my gosh! I'm so thankful that was a stun, so thankful for that! I'm sure that it's because I just have not practiced with him yet, but he feels like really strong sometimes, and then the other half of the time, he feels really weak. Like, you've had to be really cautious playing with him. It all depends on whether or not you have his three shot or four shot ready, and which super you have loaded up. I do like having his gadget so I can switch his super, but it's not even guaranteed to give you the super that you want, so like, I actually don't find that it's a very useful gadget either. That being said, a lot of the time up until this point, I've been like trying to use his three shot and his four shot to get really up close to somebody and burst them down. And I'm realizing that is the wrong move with Chester. I need to do a better job at like staying further away and then just use his three shot or a four shot more as a, a guarantee that I'll actually hit something, even if I'm only doing a little bit of chip damage. So that's what I'm going to try and do to make him feel a little bit more consistent. Oh man. Okay. Wow. That's pretty brutal, actually. That was a, a very solid loss. And I'm having a hard time telling if it's because of Chester or if they just played better than us, because they did play pretty well. They really did. They had great brawlers for that map. I mean, maybe not El Primo, but that El Primo wrecked us. I've only done five Power League matches now, though, and I still need more. I need to play him a little bit more. I'm not ready to say that he's bad. In fact, I have a hunch that he's actually pretty good. Okay, literally a repeat here. Okay, let's do this. By the way, I finished the quest that I could unlock Gray, but he's not available in this season. Maybe it's because I need to upgrade him. Yes, okay, thank you. Kick it in, kick it in. Thank you. We got our first goal here. Oh, that was really close. I mean... I would have killed him with the super alone, but uh, it was still close. Closer than I would have liked. Okay, that bow is doing work with his minds. Dude, yes, kick it in. Thank you. Okay, okay. Oh, finally feeling good. Like, come on. Ah, man. Oh, Surge jumped right into it. Yes. Boom. Got a goal. Okay, and that's nice. That's nice. Very good. Go, 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 go. Okay, wow, that was really close. Oh, sweet. Okay, very good, very good. I'm feeling a little bit better now. And I got star player. Okay, I've formed a lot of my opinions on Chester. I still want to play one more match outside of Brawl Ball before I share everything with you guys. Perfect, gem grab. Okay, now please, nobody pick him or ban him. <laughs> now, after playing Chester for a bit, I've actually realized I don't think that his super is entirely random. I think there's a little bit of logic behind which one you actually get. I'm pretty sure he cannot get his healing super unless he's missing health, which makes sense because that's the only time you'd actually want to use that super. The slow super seems to happen most of the time when enemies are fairly close to him, which makes sense because you wouldn't want to use it unless enemies are actually kind of close to you, and otherwise it's kind of a, a useless super. Now, I can't seem to figure out if there's any logic behind his other three damaging supers, but if he dies with his super charged up, he respawns with his super swapped to the, the bomb super every time, and that actually kind of makes sense because that super is pretty 
pretty much useful all the time. This is actually a really interesting find because when I first saw Chester, before I like really got to play him a lot, I thought the randomness behind his super would be like, it would feel really bad when you're playing him. And maybe I'm just totally making this up and his super is actually 100% honest. But honestly, there's only been a few times when I was disappointed with the super that I got. Most of the time, I'm actually happy with the super that I get. And I think it's really nice that the enemies don't know which super I have. Although that being said, I, I think it's a little bit too early to start playing like mind games with enemies because I don't think everybody knows all of his supers and when to stay away from him and whatnot. I stand by what I said earlier though. I don't really love his spicy dice gadget. I'm not using it three plus times a match or not wanting to use it more than once, honestly, every single match. And I think that his second gadget, that's gonna give him a random buff, even though it's completely random, I think that's gonna be the better option once he's released. But I do really like his first star power, his Bellomania star power. That that adds an attack with four shots. And I think that that's going to be the obvious choice over his second one, which just tells you what super you're gonna charge beforehand. But uh, I, I don't know. Let's hope I win this match and then I'll share my overall thoughts on him. Okay, they're good, they're good. Sweet, okay, it's another solid victory. Oh, I, I've gotta be star player, right? Yes, of course. Okay, awesome. Okay, I think I've got a strong enough opinion in comparison to other brawlers, whether or not you should actually unlock him versus other legendary brawlers, or whether you should actually spend the resources to upgrade him. And if you've already upgraded him, whether or not you should actually pick him. First up, we've got his damage score, which is probably the most important because he is considered a damage dealer. And I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10, which is actually slightly less than the original 9 out of 10 that I thought I was going to give him before I started filming this video. That's still really good, though. And don't misunderstand. Chester absolutely can deal lots of damage. It's just he can't do it all the time and <laughs> not as much as you would like if you play him smart, right? The best way to like deal a lot of damage with him is to like get the right super or blast a three shot and four shot right point blank at an enemy. But in order for you to do that, you have to be right next to them. And he's not a very tanky brawler. So that's not an option most of the time. When it is an option, he's absolutely deadly. But most of the time you want to play him from a distance. Luckily though, at a distance, he deals more damage than most brawlers and he gets outranged by some but it's actually completely impossible for you to miss an auto aimed four shot at an enemy as long as they are within range and that brings me to his ease of use score okay how easy is he he's an eight out of ten he's really easy that's actually way higher than i thought he would be i was planning on giving him like a five out of ten because his super is always changing and you have to manage how many projectile he's going to be firing he's random right and i thought that was going to be a little confusing but after playing him i didn't I didn't find his supers confusing at all. I didn't think it was very difficult to try and manage how many projectiles he was firing either. It's really not hard to manage because you just like aim the shot and then fire the next shot depending on how wide the attack is. And the truth is like his shots are very easy to hit. Even the one projectile shot is very easy to hit in comparison to most projectiles at that attack range because the projectile is actually pretty wide. So like hitting shots with him is actually super easy, way easier than most brawlers. So what about survivability? And for that, I've got to give him a 5 out of 10, which is, it, it's actually about what I expected him. And like, he doesn't have any abilities to help him escape scary situations, aside from like, attacking enemies and hoping they die. Or like, I guess like a slow kind of helps sometimes, but uh, uh, that close of a range, you're going to get hit by the enemy's fire. But he does have a fair amount of HP and a pretty decent range. And even if you can't count on it, he does have a healing super. And that is actually a lot of healing, which is why I think a 5 out of 10 is fair for him. As for utility, I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10, which is better than I thought I would rate him. I thought I'd give him like a 5, maybe a 6. Like I said earlier in this video, I think that there's some sort of logic to his supers so that you don't end up with a completely useless super given your current situation. And I felt like even if the super I did get wasn't exactly the one I wanted every single time, I always felt like I was able to use his super effectively. Like I, it wasn't completely wasted. He's got solid area control. He's got a stun. He's got a slow. And even though you can't control all those things, things and you can't control how much damage he's going to be dealing, he does deal a lot of damage over time and his super offers a lot of utility. So then, how strong do I think Chester is going to be? I absolutely think that there are better options right now and I would not pick him every single time. I really like him for gem grab. I really like him for solo and duo showdown. I also really like him for hot zone. I think he's pretty good in brawl ball. His inconsistency with his supers is a little bit scary sometimes. I don't really like him for knockout and I also don't really like him for bounty and I don't really like him for heist very much either. There are absolutely S tier brawlers that I would recommend upgrading and trying to unlock before.
for him, like Griff, Otis, Janet, Buster, Poco, just to name a few. And if you're choosing between him or another legendary, I would recommend Sandy or Crow over him for a competitive advantage. I think Leon is way more fun to play than him, but I would pick Chester over Meg, Amber, and Spike. But if you want to know what the pros think, make sure you guys subscribe for a future Brawl Stars tier list where the pros will be voting on every single placement for every single brawler. And of course, let me know what you think about him in the comment section below. Check out my other videos right here. Use code Kairos in the Brawl Stars shop. And for now, this is Kairos. I'm ticking by and we will see you in Brawl Stars.